I was taking a school exam when I suddenly got a severe stomach ache. I could no longer concentrate on the exam questions, so I raised my hand and said, Mr. Jones, I'm feeling sick. Can I go home? Go home in the middle of an exam? Sure, but then you'll get an F and fail the class. Oh god, I didn't want to repeat the whole school year because of one bellyache, so I stayed in class. But what happened next was the most humiliating experience of my life, because some kind of living creature crawled out of my body! Anyway, my name is Alexia, and this story starts when I was 8 years old, and my own dad kidnapped me from school so he could sell me for money. He called my mom and said, You can get your daughter back, but I want $20,000 in exchange, so sell your car and jewelry. You got 6 hours. My mom immediately came to pay the money and buy me back, but the damage was done. Being sold by my own dad was such a traumatic event that I developed permanent abandonment issues, and I always feared that my mom would have a change of heart and decide to sell me away too. I had watched a lot of How to Catch a Predator episodes, so I knew there were evil men looking for girls like me. So to put my mom's love to the test, I'd do creepy things like catch stray cats and shave off their fur. My mom always got terribly upset about it. Again? Why are you doing this? Are you a psycho or what? Well, I wanted to behave as despicable as I could to see if she loved me even at my worst. Unfortunately, my mom was working two jobs and rarely had time to show me affection. That's why I constantly got in trouble, so she would spend more time yelling at me. To me, that was the ultimate proof that she cared about me. Like when I didn't come home until late at night. Where have you been? It's 2 a.m. At a party. A party? You were only 14! Yeah, it was weird. There were mostly college students drinking, smoking, and kissing. Actually, none of it was true. I hadn't been to any party. I was just hiding behind a bush in our backyard, so I could see if my mom would worry if I went missing. I said, Oh, and I had my first kiss tonight at the party. The guy was already 19 and really drunk, smelling like vodka, but I loved having his tongue in my mouth. I should party more often. You did what?! To punish me, my mom made me help her out at her job. She was working in a croissant factory, and the croissants came out of the machine straight, so my mom had to bend them for eight long hours, six days a week. It was the most boring and tiring thing I ever had to do. She said, Do you think I like this job? Because I don't! I only do it so you can live in a safe neighborhood and go to a good school. I'm working this crap job to pay for your bills, so stop causing me so much trouble! After that, I never questioned my mom's love for me again. I still had issues, though. To compensate for my dad abandoning me, I dated lots of guys, and normally several at the same time. You might think that's disgusting, but I enjoyed it, because it made me feel like I was wanted. It was a substitute for my dad not loving me. But a few years later, while at a party, I saw the boyfriend of my classmate Mina. I suddenly felt a strong urge to seduce Mina's boyfriend because if he cheated on her with me, then that would be the ultimate proof that I was desirable. I approached him saying, Hey, wanna go in a room with me and lock the door? Uh, sorry, but you really aren't my type. You are a bit too overweight. He was pretty drunk, so it took some back and forth to convince him at least to make out with me. However, he did so in the middle of the room with everyone watching, which is why his girlfriend and my classmate Mina found out about it. Mina was so mad that she told everyone in our school that I had seduced her boyfriend. And suddenly, every girl hated me, even my best friends, because they thought I would try to seduce their boyfriends too. One day, Mina even took the wet sponge from our blackboard and said, Let's see if boys still like you if you have no makeup on. Then she wiped my face with the dirty sponge until all my makeup was smeared. Of course I didn't enjoy being bullied, although I knew I deserved it. I had no friends left and felt incredibly lonely. So, when this older college guy Robert chatted me up on Facebook and invited me to a party, I said, Sure, can't wait to see you. Robert was a bit of a jerk though and said, Oh god, you look thinner on your photos, Jesus Christ. Well, maybe, but there are things I can do that no other girl can. We both ended up wasted, and the next morning, I couldn't remember if we had slept with each other or not. So to be sure, I took a pregnancy test one week later. What I didn't know back then was that for the pregnancy test to work, I should have waited until my period was one week late. Meanwhile, I started taking birth control pills to reduce the risk of getting pregnant in the future. So when I stopped getting my period, I just thought it was because of the pills. The only pregnancy symptom I ever experienced was me gaining 50 pounds. Although, I thought I was just eating too much junk food. 
Nine months later, I was so fat that no guy was attracted to me anymore, not even the ugly ones. Then, while sitting in my math exam, I suddenly got a terrible stomach ache. Mr. Jones, can I go home? I'm not feeling well. Mr. Jones had always hated me and replied, Go home in the middle of an exam? Sure, but then you will get an F and fail the class. But I'm serious! My belly hurts! Oh god, I suggest you sign up for drama classes. Maybe they will appreciate your acting skills. I didn't respond to his stupid remark and tried to finish the exam, but the pain became unbearable, and I started begging. Okay, please! Someone call 911! Calling an ambulance isn't a joke. It's a serious offense. I hope you know that. I was in too much pain to argue with this moron, but luckily one of my classmates called 911 after I started moaning and screaming in pain. It was too late though. Something was coming out of me. I know how stupid this sounds, but I still didn't understand that I was giving birth. I mean, I never had any symptoms of being pregnant, not even a big belly. That's why I thought I had an alien growing inside of me that finally wanted to come out. I screamed, pull it out, pull it out! But my stupid teacher still thought I was acting. Well, until he saw the head of my baby come out. He finally realized that I was giving birth and began to help me. After 30 minutes of intense pain, she was out, and I was holding my beautiful baby daughter in my arms. I was brought to a hospital and immediately called my mom. I just gave birth! You have a granddaughter! Uh-huh, honey. I'm sure you did. Well, see you for dinner. I couldn't be mad that she didn't believe me. When I finally brought my baby home, she still said, You're taking this joke too far. Where did you get this newborn from? The doctors told me I had a cryptic pregnancy, which is a real thing when you are pregnant without showing any pregnancy symptoms. It's rare, but not unheard of. Well, anyway, I gave my daughter the name Surprise. It took my mom another week to process that her only daughter had become a teen mom. In the meantime, I texted Robert to let him know that he was a father. He replied, I would rather die than be the father of your child. Don't you at least want to take a look at her? No response. I knew he wanted to avoid taking responsibility, so I visited his parents' house where his mom opened the door. How can we help you and your cute little baby? Are you Robert's mother? Yes. Your son got me pregnant, and now he has to man up and take responsibility. You should have seen her face. She was in utter shock and said, Oh, please come inside. Robert was there too, but instead of looking at his daughter, he immediately berated me, screaming, You fat, dirty girl! You were trying to ruin my future! Sleeping with you was the worst mistake of my life! Then came the big shock. He told me to give our daughter up for adoption. He saw our baby as some kind of annoying problem he could get rid of. I said, I'm going to raise my baby with or without you, but you better get a job and pay me child support. Ha! <laughs> I won't do flip. This is your fault, and I hope you both end up in the gutter. What bothered me most was his stupid mother who just stood there and didn't say a word. Didn't she feel ashamed of her son's behavior? I got so mad that I took a vase and threw it at them while screaming, I will burn this whole house down if you don't pay me child support. I'll make sure that both of you burn in hell. Well, I never set fire to their house, and I didn't see Robert again for 10 years. Until one day, he suddenly stood in front of my house and said he wanted to meet his daughter. Are you crazy? You abandoned her, never paid child support, and now you want to step into her life as if nothing happened? I am her father, and I have the right to see my daughter. I hated the idea, but gave in anyway because I thought it would be better for Surprise to have a father. So Surprise spent a few weekends at Robert's house, but every time she came back, she told me how much fun she had with him. We went to the cinema, and Dad and his girlfriend bought me the biggest popcorn bucket. Meanwhile, I was a broke loser with no high school diploma who could barely pay the rent. I never had the money to take Surprise anywhere that was fun. I was jealous, and the next time Robert picked up our daughter, I stalked him to find out where he lived. It turned out to be a gorgeous house, much bigger than anything I could ever afford, and that made me furious. After all, I had to drop out of high school to raise my daughter while Robert could graduate college, find a well-paying job, and build a career. It wasn't fair! So out of jealousy, I forbade surprise to see her dad anymore. But mommy, I will miss dad so much! I understand, but trust me, I know what is best for you. Well, Robert decided to sue me over our daughter's custody, and because he could afford better lawyers than me, he got 50% custody of Surprise, which means that she now lives with him half of the time. I won't lie, it feels like someone stole my daughter away from me. 
On the other hand, surprise having a father is a good thing, so maybe I just have to learn to be less selfish. What do you think? Am I the bad guy in this story, or is it my baby daddy? Please let me know in the comments and subscribe to this channel.